Hey everyone, this is Missy from Looking Glass Factory and I'm here to show you how to get started in Unity in a quick getting started video tutorial. Her Holoplay plugin for Unity provides a really seamless way to integrate holographic development into your existing Unity workflow, whether you're an advanced Unity developer or you're just beginning, I promise. But before we get started, you should make sure that you have the Holoplay plugin for Unity downloaded, ready to import it to your Unity project we'll be going through together. You want to make sure you have your Holoplay service up to date and make sure that you have a Unity 2018 LTS long term support or newer. If you need help getting those links, they should be provided for you on this very page that we're on together. But you can always find our downloads to our software on lookingglassfactory.com slash software. So let's dive in. I'm going to open up Unity Hub and I've already created a project just to get things going a little faster and made sure my Unity version is uh, 2018 or newer, in this case 2019.4 and I already have the Unity plugin imported but just to quickly go over you can always navigate to your Unity plugin, wherever it's downloaded. For me, it's on my desktop. And once your Unity project is open and you haven't imported it yet, just double click it um, and it'll immediately start to import the package. Otherwise, you can always go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then you'll just navigate to wherever you uh, downloaded your um, package to. So, now that that's clear, head on over to your newly imported Hollow Play package import and go to the examples folder. Let's open up the first example scene, framing content with Hollow Play. This is an example demo scene with a really cute island with two cute furry creatures um, that animate once you hit play. But before we hit play, head on over to the Hollow Play capture in the hierarchy and go to toggle preview. Oh, I forgot to say, make sure your looking glass is connected to your computer because otherwise you're not gonna be able to live view your Unity free creations as holograms in the display. So once we hit toggle preview or control E, it should immediately appear in the looking glass display. Okay, so now that we've got our looking glass um, showing in real time what we're seeing in the scene. Um, let's go over a few basics. So the Holoplay capture camera is pretty similar to the Unity standard camera, but there are a few things that are different. Namely, it's a box. Uh, if you're familiar with the Unity camera, it is not a box. But something you should know that's pretty important is this square in the middle of the box, or sorry, towards the front of the box is the part of the scene that is in most focus in the display. So I'm going to move the capture box back and forward and uh, you can see wherever the square is on the plane is the most clear in looking glass. So I'm going to move it back to the furry creatures because I like that they're in focus and keep it there. But it's a really good way to start thinking about framing your scene um, when you're doing your games, your interactions, um, whatever you're making in Unity. We know the sky's the limit here. So let's head on over to the demo object in the hierarchy. And here, the developers of the plugin have created a really cool script that, in play mode, allows you to see um, the animations of position, scale, rotation, clipping plane, and FOV. So we'll see position, animated, scale, rotation, clipping plane, which can be a little hard to see in the actual looking glass, so I'll show you here. See the animation of the far clipping plane going in and out. Um, basically clipping what you can see um, from behind. And then FOV, which is animating the changes in the field of view. 
Now, you don't have to uh, necessarily script these changes um, to happen like this, like in the demo. You can just go to the Holoplay Capture and in advanced camera settings, you can change a lot of these things manually. So, FOV, near clipping plane, far clipping plane, and then also size. And I think I want my furry creature island to be about this size, because I want to see the whole thing. All right, cool. So, as you can see, you can frame content in the looking glass display uh, any way you want. It works so similarly to a Unity camera, and this is just to emphasize this. But I'm sure everyone is rearing to go in terms of interacting um, with holographic content for the first time, or maybe it's not your first time, maybe you just need a refresher. So let's go to the prefabs folder in Holoplay and add a 3D cursor. Now, just because we just added the cursor doesn't mean we can interact yet, but I'm going to hit play and show you what this cursor does. As you can see in the looking glass, we got a 3D cursor that's able to um, finally select different details of your scene. And lucky for you, the devs for this plugin created a script called Orbit Control that allows you to add basically mouse input to this 3D cursor. So I'm going to add Orbit Control. Ah, it's already added. Orbit Control is already added to this hall play capture. So now that we have the Orbit Control added, and we have the 3D cursor um, also in the hierarchy, you'll find that you're able to drag, uh, mouse click, drag to rotate the scene, um, scroll wheel up and down to scale the scene, scroll wheel down, and mouse drag to uh, pan the scene around. And now you're pretty much just interacting with a 3D object as a hologram immediately in Unity. So if you have 3D models, or you already have a bunch of stuff in Unity you want to try this with, please go ahead. I highly recommend. It's a great time. Now we have the basics down. You know how to frame a scene in Unity um, immediately. You also know how to interact with it using some of the scripts and the prefabs that Holoplay plugin already has. But now we're going to um, record our scene using the Holoplay recorder functionality. So in the scripts folder, you'll see that there's a um, script called Holoplay Recorder. You're going to want to put that on your Holoplay Capture camera. I've added mine to the end right here. And I recommend keeping it on its default uh, preset settings. I've already um, in advance created my own controller to record um, using the Holoplay Recorder logic and functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my scene. And basically all this record prefab that I've created is, is a script that with the keys one, two, three, and four allows me to start recording, pause recording, resume recording, and end recording. And it's basically just using the logic that's already in the Hollow Play recorder. So I'll make sure that my Hollow Play recorder is referenced. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And now if I hit one to start recording, I start to record my holographic quilt that I could then share in Hallplay Studio and view in Hallplay Studio and share with friends. I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate my demo scene in the looking glass and that's also going to be reported out. And then when I'm ready, because I've mapped the end record button to 4, I'll just press 4. And I've completed my recording. So if you go really quickly back to the Hollow Play Recorder component, you'll see that um, you can change the output name here. Um, I have mine as test because I'm testing it out for you all. But if you navigate to your 
Unity Projects folder, Getting Started Unity for me, you'll see that um, these quilts will automatically export for you in the um, main folder. So for me, it's a Getting Started Unity main folder. And I'll just double click this, open it up, and here it is. I think we missed it, so I'm going to replay it. And that's my quilt recorded out from my Unity scene um, in 3D, ready to be viewed as a hologram on Holoblaze Studio. If you have any questions, please reach out. My email is missy at lookingglassfactory.com. And please, if you record your first quote, share it. We want to see it. We're really excited what you can make in Unity.